Andrew, describe the crypto investment opportunities. So the primary investment strategy for the retail investors is in their belief that Bitcoin or Ethereum will go up over time. So investing in Bitcoin is essentially a strategy to invest in an asset which has characteristics like gold and offers investors a store of value as well as diversification, while investing in Ethereum is more of a play on investing in blockchain technology. Here you simply subscribe to an app, purchase your crypto and hope it goes in the right direction. If you want to spread your risk, you could invest in a type of ETF fund through an app that bundles the top performing cryptos and these have become quite commonplace with allocations beyond the ubiquitous Bitcoin and Ethereum into various altcoins and stablecoins. For the more experienced and technically minded, you can perform arbitrage, whereby you look for price inefficiencies between the currencies and the exchanges and trade in and out, trying to make a profit. But this is best left to the experienced investors, many of whom using high-frequency bots, algo trading, which comes into its own risks. Recently, we've begun to see a rise in staking, which is crypto speak for earning interest, on the underlying digital asset. And here investors are essentially lending money to credible exchanges that support crypto traders looking to borrow digital or fiat currency to express their views on the market by taking both long and short leveraged positions. Then there are specific crypto products that invest in DeFi, decentralized finance, which is enabled through blockchain, primarily on Ethereum, opening up all manner of disruptive financial services. This is a particularly interesting space and moving exponentially. And lastly, for the more sophisticated investors, there are around 500 crypto funds, of which there are around 150 long-only type products and 50 crypto hedge funder funds. And these invest in multiple crypto firms and strategies to reduce their risk by capturing most of the upside and reducing the volatility significantly. At Currency Hub, we've been managing an arbitrage strategy since 2017, which is unique to South Africa and its citizens. Here we exploit the regional price inefficiencies of crypto assets as a result of exchange control limits that exist in South Africa. And through the utilization of our clients' 11 million rand yearly offshore allowance, we trade crypto assets without ever being exposed to Bitcoin, 